Now, second question, there is a newly laid road which follows the path of this polynomial about some coordinate system from x is equal to minus 5 to x is equal to 20. And the railway track is laid along the x-axis. So, how many level crossings are there? So, what we are interested in is how many times does the x-axis cut this polynomial? And for that, we have to find the roots of this polynomial because the roots give you when the polynomial is touching or cutting the x-axis. Now, this is a quartic uh, fourth degree polynomial multiplied with a quadratic polynomial. So, the degree is 6. So, at best, we could have 6 roots. But let's find out what these roots are. The easy way to start is to first find the roots of the quadratic. So that would be using minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. We get 15 plus or minus root of 225 minus 200 divided by 2 which is 15 plus or minus root 25 divided by 2 that is essentially 5 or 10. So you get 10 by 2 or 20 by 2. So 5 or 10 the, those are the two roots and they are both within the given range. Anyway now we look at the other part the quartic part. So here we have x power 4 minus 5 x cube plus 6x square plus 4x minus 8. In these situations, what is typically suggested is that we do a little bit of trial and error. We try out with the basic small integers and uh, we see if we can find any roots at all. So let us start with p of 0. p of 0 is minus 8, which is clearly not equal to 0. So 0 is not a root. Then we have p of 1 which is 1 minus 5 plus 6 plus 4 minus 8, which is equal to minus 2, which is again not equal to 0, so not a root. Then we try p of minus 1 and we get 1 plus 5 plus 6 minus 4 minus 8. So, this is equal to 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. So, yeah, p of minus 1 gives us 0, which means we have another root that is minus 1. So, let's note down our roots that we have found here. The roots we have found so far are 5, 10 and minus 1. Now, going back to our trial and error, let's try p of 2. And p of 2 gives us... 16 minus 8 into 5 is 40 plus 6 into 4 is 24 plus 8 minus 8. So we get 16 plus 24 is 40, 40 minus 40 is 0. So this is 0. So we have another root that we have found. So we now have two roots for our quartic. And those two roots give us another quadratic which is x plus 1 into x minus 2 that is x square minus x minus 2. So if we divide our quadratic with this quadratic, we will get the other quadratic within it. So here we have x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 6x square plus 4x minus 8. And we divide it with x square minus x minus 2. So here uh, we go x square, so x power 4 minus x cube minus 2x square minus plus and plus. Cancel this off. You get minus 4x cube plus 8x square plus 4x minus 8. And then we do minus 4x times this. That would be minus 4x cube plus 4x square and plus 8x. So plus, minus and minus. Cancel this. And here we have 4x square 
minus 4x minus 8 and that is just 4 times this so plus 4 so our quartic so is basically x square minus x minus 2 into x square minus 4x plus 4 and this gives the quartic and additionally we have to also multiply for our p of x we have to multiply the other quadratic which is x square minus 15x plus 50 this one so this is p of x totally and if we further separate it out into all its roots we get this one as we know is x plus 1 into x minus 2 and this is uh, if you notice x minus 2 the whole square so x minus 2 into x minus 2 and then here this we have found the roots already which is x minus 5 into what was the other root the other root was 10 x minus 10 so these are our roots and uh, the coefficient of x power 6 will be positive clearly so therefore this is an even degree polynomial and thus if we have to sketch the graph it looks something like this it comes from infinity and uh, what is the least lowest uh, root here the lowest root is minus 1 so at minus 1 if we draw this as the x axis at minus 1 you have one root it crosses the x axis and then it goes around and it comes to 2 but 2 is a triple root so what happens with a root if it's a single root it crosses the x axis but if it is a double root, it will just touch the x-axis and come back. But since it's a triple root, it actually crosses the x-axis. So here we do have a crossing. And then afterwards at 5 and 10, we will have... So yeah, this will be for 2, this will be for minus 1, this will be for 5 and this will be for 10. This is just a rough plotting of the graph. The question was how many times does it intersect the x-axis and so we had to draw this basic sketch and we find that the intersections are 4. If x minus 2 was not a triple root, if it were a double root or a quadruple root, like if it is there 2 times or 4 times, then the graph would be very different. It would be x minus 1 would still be the same, but at 2 you would not actually see a intersection you will just see a touching it won't be a cut right so therefore we had to check how many times the root 2 occurs since it's an odd number of times we can say it is actually cutting x-axis and that gives us the number of level crossings is 4 and how many turning points are there now we can look at our graph and quickly tell 1 2 and 3 3 turning points